Hey guys, and welcome to Loveless Astrology. I am your host, Loveless. Today we're looking at an event, or rather, a relationship transpiring in Los Angeles. Specifically, a viral couple, rappers Blueface and Krishan Rock. They are largely known as a toxic couple, and it seems most people consider Krishan the victim of a boyfriend who plays with her emotions to his viral benefit. What is the energy here, and what's ahead for them in the near future? Let's take a look. Libra is rising here, the sign of relationships. Blue face is Venus in Leo, and Krishan is Mars in Taurus. Let's start first with looking at Blue face's energy. Blue, as Venus in Leo is joined to the Midheaven here. Along with the Sun in Leo in the 10th house, this is an appropriate position for someone who's an entertainer. He's a rapper, throws events, and has had his own reality show. As Venus has just entered Leo, he's starting a new period of life, one of heightened public attention and success. This placement is also a suggestion he will have a long-term career that should work out fortunately in some regards. This also says, more specifically to our question, that he is using this situation, this relationship, to entertain. That is where his energies and intentions are. <laughs> Venus rules the 12th house though in this chart, and also the 8th house, bringing negative energy. This isn't pure, good entertainment which the Sun in Leo would normally indicate. There is something dark about how he chooses to entertain the world, and in the end, this is a misstep that will forever taint the otherwise good fortune that lies ahead for him in his career. In other words, Blueface is making choices that might in some ways do good for his career, but also hurt his reputation in the long term. Venus in the 10th house shows things between him and Krishan he puts on blast, and he will continue to do so. I don't see him stopping that behavior anytime soon. The south node, the marker of damage, sits in Blueface's house, showing that this relationship brings him strife. Speaking of the ascendant, the ascendant has some stuff going on. It's joined to the Greek lots, captives and captives and the conquered. Greek lots show themes at play. So what could this mean? Blueface has expressed trouble leaving this relationship and is on record offering Krishan Rock $100,000 to leave him alone. I can't mention the Ascendant, the house which represents Blueface in the relationship, without mentioning that it is at a critical degree, 27 degrees, 14 minutes. This means that what people feel, the general consensus, the future will hold for them is most likely true. Venus, the planet that represents Blueface here, is leaving Pluto retrograde. This is probably speaking of the great fight between Krishan and him. Remember, Venus is in the 10th house, so this event was very public. What a, I know bro, you alright dude? Bro, that's not good, bro. Damn, dude. Bro. On a positive note for Blueface, in his house of hope and wishes, Mercury is powerful and exalted in Virgo. Mercury is joined to the Greek lots, children and life. How do I see this? He is happy to have children and has been blessed in this regard outside his relationship with Krishan, but Virgo is a sign of infertility. Regarding Chris, I think he considers not having children with her at this time a smart move. Let's talk about Krishan. Oh, she seems so sweet. Hi, my name is Krishan Malone. Um, I play football. I'm 20 years old. I just moved out here from Baltimore. I'm, from L I'm not from LA, I'm from Baltimore. I moved out here like a week ago. Yeah. Chris is Mars in Taurus, accurate as she appears to be the more aggressive one in the relationship, and a person who is known for being very athletic and fighting. 
Mars also represents injuries to the head, and she is well known for missing a tooth. So, even though she's a sun in Pisces by birth, in this situation, she's displaying very Martian energy and probably has this planet, Mars, prominent in her natal chart. I can almost guarantee it. In contrast to Venus, Mars isn't doing well in Taurus. This isn't a good placement, and by default, the Mars person, Krishan, is weak and agitated. By weak, I mean she will not be able to perform at her best concerning this relationship. Another negative indication, particularly very negative because Mars isn't doing well already, Krishan's planet Mars is joined to the fixed star Algol. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm always quick to point this star out. It's associated with mental illness, violence, and alcohol abuse. So she is in a very, very negative space. The indication of alcohol abuse is worsened here, with Mars sextile Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Funny thing is, you family for real, so I'ma love you through this weird shit. I, I just by default, she brings a lot of negative energy to the relationship, especially with her planet Mars ruling the eighth and twelfth house as well. However, with Mars in Taurus and Venus ruling Taurus, it can be argued that she is this way because of Blueface. What else could be making Krishan unhappy? Let's look at her 12th house, the house of personal suffering, and the things we do to sabotage ourselves, the house of vices. Jupiter retrograde is here in Aries. This is a lot of unhappiness, a lot of anger. But what does Jupiter specifically represent? It represents Blueface's social media, his children, or having children with him. There is a lot of unhappiness concerning these things. It also represents Blueface's record label, so I would consider unhappiness with that situation as well as she signed to his label. Krishan has stated being upset with Blueface after he wanted her to end her pregnancies, but went on to have children with another woman. What hurt? Let me tell you what hurt, nigga. When you told me get rid of the babies and then have a baby with a bitch you're not even with. That's that's what really hurt. Uh, are you listening? Or are you are you scared to listen? Like, then you post the bitch on the page. What do you mean? That's some punk ass shit. I don't care. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Here you go. As a note, I do not think he loves anyone as much as he loves his career and fame. The part of fortune an indicator of success and material wealth, sits in the 12th house as well, joined to the Greek lot, hour of marriage. Her vices and unhappiness, and relationship with Blueface, in a dark way, contribute to her success. So we've spoken about their individual energies. Now, how do they relate to each other? Let's start with Blue. How does Blue feel about Krishan? As Venus and Leo, I do not see deep feelings of love from Blueface to Krishan. Even looking at the shadow place of Venus, his deepest true feelings, Venus is in Taurus. This is more so a love for himself, financial benefits, and sometimes resentment. I think it's more so that he loves how she has love for him. In contrast, Krishan is Mars in Taurus. There is deep love from her to him and vulnerability, but it isn't reciprocated. Mars in Taurus is stubborn, and I do not see her wavering from these feelings anytime soon. Mars is in conjunct the Ascendant by 3 degrees, indicating dysfunction in an unhealthy relationship from her to him. Lastly, Algol says that not only is she in love with him, but she's deeply infatuated, to the point it crosses a healthy line. She has his image tattooed under her neck. Additionally, she admits the reason she lost her tooth was because of a fight over him. The future of the relationship doesn't look like peaceful days of sweet romance. The moon will let us know what's up. The moon is joining Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. This along with the moon squared Uranus, I see as constant instability and possible separation. And if they continue to stay together, definitely excessive coldness in the relationship. Even though Blueface is Venus in Leo, which I'd see as a warm and fun personality when good, when it comes to his relationship with Krishan, he is cold. She probably feels like he's sweet to everyone but her. 
Venus's shadow placement is at 29 degrees Taurus, another indication of separation and blue face moving away from her. However, Mars shadow placement, Krishan, puts it at 5 degrees Leo. With Venus at 0 degrees Leo, this shows blue face moving towards her again. So there are conflicting energies which we see in real life. They're broken up, yet not. He will most likely involve himself with her again. And indeed, a couple days into making this video, Krishan announced that they are official. But the energies aren't pure or romantic. The energy and prerogative is entertainment and public display for Blueface to benefit from. This is partly because of the house Venus and Mars join in, the 10th house. In any event, there's suggested a lot of instability and back and forth here. So my conclusion of this relationship is somewhat short and sweet. It would be better for her to leave him and work on herself and adjust her energy. Continuing to love him may bring perks, but will only be to her detriment in the immediate future as she will struggle to be her best self in this situation. Mars in Taurus is aggressive energy and potentially very destructive. The Mars person, Krishan, is frustrated by their situation, being unable to move forward in a positive way consistently. The love in this relationship is greatly one-sided. Part of him enjoys the attention, but another has great resentment, and he has his own best interests at heart. Overall, Blueface is the leader of the relationship, and he does have some responsibility for how she acts. I fully believe if he was more committed to her in her best interests, she would act differently. What do you think about Blueface and Krishan? Let me know. For now though, we're closing our eye and I'll see you in the next one.